Yo, what's up, YouTube? I'm Assassin here. Now, today I'm going to be making a weekly roundup of all the news that I think is interesting and important. Now, today's topic or focus would be around the iPhone 5 because I found a lot of great articles and news about the iPhone 5 that I think you will think it's in, it will be interesting. So, let's get started. Okay, the first um, article I found it was from Redmond Pie and it's first iPhone 5 knocks off emerges in China expertly round up rumors of the next iPhone design and then he has some photos now um, if you have if you don't know um, Apple High is a company from China which is called Foxconn to create the iPhones so that's why you'll be seeing a lot of China companies making knockoffs because they have some insight all right um, I'll just show you the knockoffs to look like this. All the knockoffs I've seen have a curved edge and look similar to the iPhone 4 but just rounded. Um, if you can see, um, well, this uh, it says here, while it is certainly not the indicative of final design, the knock helps visualize the rumored design of the iPhone 5, which suggests an iPhone 3GS like curved back, a thinner profile, a larger screen. A larger home button. Unfortunately, the design is fake. So this is fake. It's just a rumor, and it's left outside. Left iPhone left out the last two features. Um. Yeah. So that's the knockoff that they think. So you can get an idea of what it may look like. Um. Another one that I saw was. Um. Uh, let's see. Oh, this anonymous launches a new social network called Anon Plus. I think that's interesting. Um, if you want to go check it out, there's a um, I've already checked it out. It's not completely done, but uh, it's called anonplus.com. You you don't have the option to create an account at the moment, but they'll be working on that. Um, let's see. Okay. Um, um, there's another report that says iPhone 5 update will be bigger than expected. Um, will launch on Canadian operator Telus in October. So, um, October is uh, the date to, like I said in my other video, October 5th is the time to look around or over here says October 1st so it might have changed the news but September for the US and October for the other countries internationally alright it says here um, the October 1st launch date will which can allegedly be found in the uh, internal Teleplus document is expected to immediately raise questions among those familiar with Apple's release timelines traditionally all the new iPhones as the way back to 2007 had to take place either on a Thursday evening or a Friday. Yet October 1st is a Saturday. While launching on, or launching an iPhone at this point in the week would make sense due to the release of store activity on weekends. Apple usually prefers weekdays, leading many to believe that they either this source is mistaken or that the present release day is just an approximation until the real day is revealed. Although the source who leaked this document states otherwise. So pretty much they just um uh um given a second hand a second voice saying that it's real. So um yeah let's see that was okay so uh um it would be bigger than expected. Hopefully my liking would be four inch screen because I saw the new HDCs and all the new other phones like Samsung and I really like the four inch um. Screens is just way better than what the iPhone has. It makes iPhone 4 look rubbish. Um, oh, this is a good one. iPhone 5 prototypes sent to carriers in sealed boxes for testing. Product imminent. Uh, this is really good. Okay. Um, according to a new report, carriers across the world have received the next generation iPhone for last minute testing before the device officially begins. Begins big be being manufactured on N Massey. So that's probably mean in large um, masses. This follows May contradicting reports and claims that they have surfaced over the last few days, which suggest that the next iPhone release might be imminent. Okay. Um. 
so here's just an uh, more info which tells you that uh, either it will um it will support this thing that uh, um it will be out soon. So say your carry is like if you're in Australia, Telstra Optus, Virgin, um if you're in the US, AT and T, um Verizon, uh all of them they yeah, or if you're in Canada, uh, Rogers or something like that, um, they probably all have a um, iPhone on their in their stores, not in their stores, but the company has one for testing. So that would be great. So it's probably a beta or a prototype type iPhone. Um, and yeah, that's the um, best news from today. There's also another video, another. Um, article that I saw, which has a um, a video, which I thought was <laughs> weird, because if you um, see this, all right here, what iPhone 5 K I R F emerges in China before official launch? And they had, it has a video of some, a Chinese man. It says, "Well, the Chinese knockoff makers are certainly quick off the mark." Despite the products always falling well short of the real deal in terms of features, the fact is you don't have to wait around for seemingly decades, sorry about that, for a new one to pop up. <laughs> yeah, I know, difficult to make video. Uh, um, if you want to see this, it's just showing the white iPhone. Um, if I'll put a link to Redmond Pi if you want to come check this out and shows what see all the knockoffs that I've seen look like this all the new iPhones iPhone 5 knockoffs what they try and look like with this obviously fake Apple would make that rubbish um, software see he can't even slide his finger all right that's annoying all right thanks um, hope you liked the video make sure you use like comment subscribe um, and subscribe for more videos. Thanks.